As I record this right now, I am sick as a goose. But I'm moving. I'm moving country and I'm selling all of my belongings. So I'm packing it up. And it's sad because I've bought so many things and compiled amazing items which I love, including this disco ball that I had to sell. But that's what life is. You start up again and you sell all your stuff and you move country and then you buy all new furniture again, which is fine if you want to do it. I support you. This vlog is the most confusing and probably stressful thing that you might ever watch in your entire life, but that's how my week felt for me. I was moving country, so I, yeah, it was a lot to handle. So I was trying to catch up with friends and pack and do visa appointments and also whilst working my job. So it was a lot to cope with. The weekend before my final week is what is happening right now in this video. And we had so much to do, which was great. It was really, really nice. On the Saturday, we were productive. We went to a One Rebel class. If you've never done one before, I definitely recommend for you to do one. It's in multiple places in London, but you walk in and it's literally like a rave. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen and experienced. It's a 45 minute spin class. They also do like Pilates and whatnot, but the spin is so much fun. I honestly feel like a new person afterwards, but I don't really sweat. My face turns red for some reason. So I just look terrible for like five hours. But they give you these cute little like peppermint cold towels. So that's a nice little touch. Um, anyway, aside from that point, the, the weekend was so busy. So after One Rebel, we went and we got like Portuguese pastries and kind of like, I don't know, like sandwiches and stuff. And yeah, just like walked around the city and obviously just took in all of all of the normal kind of sites that I normally see and love and appreciate and just soak them all up once more. Even though I am obviously going to come back to London, it's just the kind of daily routines and weekly routines of being with friends and doing certain things and just feeling so comfortable because you live there, not just because you're visiting. So it was an interesting kind of way of sending, yeah, sending everything off. But this particular cafe is called Lisboa and it's in Stockwell and it's amazing. It's super cheap for one, but they do the best pastel natas and also like a little kind of like ham and cheese sandwiches. Um, I definitely recommend. But in terms of like other things that I was doing, I was like picking up a camera which I obviously then started filming on and then got really stressed about it. So I cried like three times. Um, we also did a bottomless brunch on the Sunday, which I completely did not film because I was stressed out the entire morning, hated myself, <laughs> if anyone can relate. And then I got so drunk that I was convinced that there was aliens and I went home to go to sleep. So that was exactly how my weekend went, which was wild and then let's go back to the morning of the brunch this was the video that sent me spiraling i for some reason tried a tiktok trend of doing heatless curls and yeah i honestly <laughs> was disgusted honestly what the hell like i just don't understand how i do everything so wrong this is me obviously just like speaking to my housemate being like what the hell is going on um it wasn't really salvageable i just looked like a really old lady from like the 50s um so yeah give it a go if you fancy it but i will warn you you might look like that. the next few days we again spend packing repacking selling stuff binning stuff, giving stuff to the charity shop, giving stuff to homeless people. There was just so much movement. <sighs> oh my good lord. I'm trying to adjust to this new camera and it's so heavy. And this is the second camera that I've got and I actually can't return it. So I'm gonna just make the most of it. Like I definitely enjoy it. I love how it looks on the screen. And I think, it sounds like pretty good quality um, and quite fun that it's a camcorder, but it's really heavy and it's got a really big battery that sticks out the back of it. We're going to make it work. <laughs> Hello, everyone. 
Welcome to another video. I'm sorry for this being the most sporadic, crazy video ever. This is my final weekend in London, <clears throat> final week, and I'm moving to a different country on Thursday, which is wild. And I have been all over the place trying to sort my life out like it's crazy. I've had two visa appointments. Today was my second visa appointment and finally I've got everything sent off and sorted, but it was such a stressful morning. I was supposed to be in the office at nine and it's 12 and I've basically just took the day off now because I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I'm off. I do actually need the time as well because I need to sort so much stuff for my, for my, for the move. So I think it's going to be a productive day. This is one suitcase. And that's not even all of our shoes. This is crazy. Joe's got shoes in that bag. And I've got more shoes here. Somebody help me. <sighs> Luckily we've paid for four big suitcases. And I'm going to book an extra two today just like little smaller carry-on bags. So I'm hoping that we're gonna have enough space. We've got now two kids, two suitcases full and two more to go. So this is my camera to show you. It's ginormous. Like it's cool as hell, but it is big and it's a heavy one, but it's got a stabilizer. So I think it makes the everything pretty seamless. Um, still trying to work out this memory card issue though. Okay, so I'm trying to get to terms with this camera and it still won't work. It's just flashing saying that I'm going to run out of storage, which is really nice. Really nice considering I spent £700 on it. So on our final couple of nights, we, yeah, just spent really cute time together. We cooked meals and sat around watching TV all the favorite things that we always did together um but a lot of it was just packing and being boring and reminiscing on cute moments and loving and hugging each other and being really nervous and scared for what is to come um tried to read every so often you can see how many pages i'm in not a lot at all and the following day to this is my actual work <laughs> worst day work last oh my god stop my last work day of work. Um, I had a really cute day. I went for lunch with a couple of friends and they kind of like sent me off. And then I had a drink with my manager after work just to kind of go over my plan for moving forward because I'm staying with the same company and I'm working remotely. Hello. Hi, oh my God. <laughs> Recording you. <laughs> Aww, well. I thought about putting the sound on for this, but I'm just gonna save you the hassle because no one actually cares and we're just being really loud and stupid and it doesn't make any sense. But what was happening was we were putting all of my teddies into like little vacuum bags to save space and we were playing a game to guess the weight of the bag because we're checking in four bags, each having to be 23 kg, and guess what? They were all terribly overweight. <laughs> the heaviest one being 32 kg. And when we actually got to the airport the next day, it only actually cost us 74 pounds more for all of the overweight baggage, which kind of shocked me. But um, yeah, I mean, we packed everything, like my coffee machine, pictures, so much stuff that no one would need. Um, and then we had some moe. I think I hated it. I mean, you'll see my face afterwards, but... We were just being fancy little girls. I even got some strawberries. And we drank a glass of that, even though all I wanted was tea and a biscuit and bed. And sat outside, talked about life and, you know, plans. And that was it. It is 11 p.m. on Wednesday the 30th of August. And we're officially packed. And we leave the country tomorrow. I've obviously kept you waiting long enough in terms of not saying where we're moving and all of those sort of details because 
I wasn't 100% sure how everything was gonna work out because it all was quite last minute for us. But I think at this point I've kept you waiting long enough. And you obviously know at this point that we're moving overseas. So where we're moving to is Portugal. Mic drop. I'm obviously so tired. I can't give you all the energy right now because I'm pooped. It's been the longest week having to combine working and moving countries. But we're moving to Portugal, moving to a place called Cascais, which is like 30 something minutes drive from Lisbon. And the reason for the move is because Joe has got a rugby contract to play for a season over there. And yeah, I guess like initially, yes, it's for a season, but who knows what's going to happen? Technically our first place, moving into together. Joe's been living in this house for the last month or so. Technically been living here for the last, I don't know, seven months. So it's not going to be too different, but also a really fun change. We have got an apartment that we haven't even viewed yet. We viewed it virtually and then we've got someone from the rugby club to to basically view it for us so it's been checked but we haven't physically been there so it's yeah it's crazy we've got four massive suitcases as you saw and two little suitcases and a backpack each and like we're not even bringing furniture so it's crazy that that is just like clothes shoes and stuff the house that we're moving into is completely unfurnished, so it's gonna be such a fun challenge to try and source a bed on the first night. Apparently we live like five minutes from the beach. I don't know if that's walking or driving or cycling, but we're gonna figure it out. I work like one day a week in the office in London right now, and I managed to convince them to let me go and work remotely and come back to London probably every like five weeks or something. So yeah, it's obviously gonna be something to adjust to, having to travel more often and stuff, but I'm just really excited. I'm really, really excited to just experience a whole new culture, learn a language, make new friends, and yeah, just get out of the city. Like I don't wanna shit on London, but um, I said this months ago, I was very much over it and learned to love it a lot more these past few months by actively just trying to see new places and do new things and see friends and, and be as productive as I can. But it's just so hard in such a big city like London because it's so busy and so full. I think because it's like really touristy in, in areas as well. So it just can become so draining. So lots of change going on, but this is gonna be the end of this video. It's such a crap finishing last week of London vlog, but I think it probably proves how chaotic moving and life changes can be, but it is my mission to film as much as I can and as much as I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna film everything when I get to Portugal because it's my one regret. When I moved back to London, I wish that I filmed more because I made every excuse under the sun. So I'm gonna film everything and post it for you on YouTube and on Instagram Reels. That is gonna be what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I hope that this is fun news, but on to the next chapter. Goodbye London. You've been amazing, great memories. I got to meet my future husband here. I've made so many amazing friends. I've started in a new job and I've moved house so many times. I've lost some friends and yeah, so much change, but change is good. I've got so many new tattoos during this era and I feel like I've become a much stronger and yeah, happy, stable, healthy person. So onwards and upwards from here to getting even healthier and sexier maybe. 
if that's even possible. Look forward to the next video because it is going to be full of Portugal life <laughs> with me not telling you, but I'm sure you can all understand why I was maybe keeping it quiet because it could have been a flop, but we're going. So yeah, much love. Thank you for all of the support. I hope that you're enjoying this new camera as well, by the way. Let me know if you are or you're not, but have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to, and we'll see you in next week's video.